So this is Reed, and he is our biosecurity detection dog for Biosecurity for Scotland. Reed's job is to sniff out any signs of rats and we do that on islands to make sure they're remaining rat free but um, today we are here doing that um, to check cargo before it goes over to Bass Rock. We're doing some helicopter operations, taking loads out to the Bass Rock. We're doing a bit of work with uh, Nature Scott, who are here just to monitor, and RSPB as well, who've got the detection dog with us to make sure the loads going out uh, don't have any invasive species in them. Uh, so our biosecurity protocols are up to, to speed, and we're, we're not taking out any predators. Seabirds breed on our islands all around Scotland, um, like Bass Rock, because um, they have usually been free from invasive mammalian predators. Um, so they're a safe place for seabirds to lay their eggs and raise their chicks. Um, what happens when um, predators like a rat gets to these islands is they will eat the eggs, they can predate on the chicks as well, and sometimes even eat the adult birds. And obviously the birds just haven't evolved any strategies to cope with predators like that, um, so it can decimate populations. He's searching for any signs of rat at all, so whether that's um, the live animal itself, droppings, any kind of trails that have been left behind, that's what he's searching for, um, just so we can make sure there is nothing in those bags. Reed is trained to give us a passive indication when he finds the target odour that he's looking for. And that means that he doesn't do anything, he doesn't come into contact with it at all. He will just freeze or sit and stare and, and then it's down to me to go and investigate and see what he's found. And what we call him is an active detection tool. So all of the ways we usually monitor for rodents, whether that's kind of a card that the rat would chew or a little wax block or footprint tunnel, it relies on the, the animal interacting with it. Whereas uh, Reed, he goes and actively finds signs of them as well as the animal itself. So far we're all good. First load has gone and it was all clear. Reed is the best partner to work with. He is always happy to come to work. He is always enthusiastic and always raring to go. And um, it definitely makes my life easier to have a colleague who is that excited. <laughs> like to do is make sure that we don't impact on the environment and affect it in any detrimental way so we want to keep things as they are. As an organisation for the Northern Lighthouse Board it's really really important so we have done a lot of work on this over the years. We've been involved, involved in the Biosecurity for Life project a while ago and we've continued that with RSPB going forward to present day. And 
And so it's just so important that we protect these places. And seabirds are under so many threats already, um, such as avian flu and climate change and overfishing and controlling um, predators, preventing predators from getting to these islands is some, somewhere where we can make a huge difference and it's a way we can really protect these special places. And do it well, welcome a guys like Reed. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.